Hey, what is up guys? Boardman Tech here and I made this video to let you know if switching from the Infinix Hot 4 to the new Infinix Hot 5 is really worth your money. So have in mind that I used the Infinix Hot 4 for quite some time and it was a really great low budget smartphone from Infinix. It had all the key features you'd want in a smartphone in it from its 5.5 inches HD display to its 8 megapixel back facing camera and it's 5 megapixel front face camera. This phone also rocked a 4000 mAh power battery and I usually go about 6 to 7 hours of screen on time during heavy usage and when I just use it averagely for social media and browsing, I didn't have to worry about charging until like the end of the day. It also comes with 16 GB of internal storage with 2 GB, 2 GB of RAM which is why during the time I use this smartphone it's really never lagged except from when my storage capacity was almost full and this is because of the quad core 1.3 gigahertz processor that comes with it coupled with mediatek 6580 chipsets all this runs on android 6.0 marshmallow and infinitely really took their time to build this um smartphone well and talking about the build did i mention it comes with a fingerprint reader yes so this smartphone also comes with a fingerprint reader but a couple of days ago, Infinix just launched a new smartphone called the Infinix Hot 5. And what they basically did in this phone was to take in the same specs found in the Infinix Hot 4 and then smash everything together and make the Infinix Hot 5. But to make this phone seem like a successor to the Infinix Hot 4, they added some new features, which I'll be talking about three. So the first new feature is Android 7.0 Nougat. The Infinix Hot 5 comes with a newer Android version, unlike the Infinix Hot 4 that comes with Android 6.0 Match menu. So you get a new settings menu look, a new quick settings look, and other system UI tweaks. And the second new feature is the navigation buttons. So unlike the Infinix Hot 4, where the navigation buttons are below the display, they've now been embedded into the display of the Infinix Hot 5 which means that your multitasking button, your home button and your back button are now into the display of the Infinix Hot 5 unlike the Infinix Hot 4 and the third new feature is generally the design so the Infinix Hot 5 is still plastic built like the Hot 4 it still, has, it still has fingerprint reader at the back but the camera placement is no longer at the center of the back of the phone it has now been moved to the top left corner of the phone and on the back you see that there are no speakers on the back of the phone because they have now been moved to the front of the phone so you are having dual front facing speakers infinix threw in those front facing speakers so you can enjoy more awesome multimedia experience when playing games or watching movies so you know you're not, you're not having dual front facing speakers on the infinix Hot 5 so apart from these three new features i just mentioned they basically have the same features, the same specs, the same camera, the same battery life, the same display. Almost everything is the same except for these three new features I just um, told you guys now. So if you still want to get the Infinix Hot 4, you can consider the Infinix Hot 5. And fun fact, the Infinix Hot 5 is currently cheaper than the Infinix Hot 4, just in case you don't know. But it's just by a thousand dollars difference. I don't know why it's that, but it's currently cheaper than the Infinix Hot 4. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please hit the like button down below. And also, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Bonman Tech, and I'll catch you in my next video. Thank you for watching.